So currently there's a show on TV that's wildly popular, and that is Marvel Studios' WandaVision. After more than a year without Marvel content, this show is just captivating everyone. They do a lot of cool effects on the show, but one of them looks something like this. That's right, you see what's happening? You notice these bars were just moving out, and the ones on top and bottom just came on in? That's right, this show is famous for doing aspect ratio changes mid-scene. So people are typically used to adding in black bars to start a cinematic sequence in the YouTube videos, but this is a little bit of a different play on that by having the aspect ratio change from an older, more square aspect ratio like 4 to 3 to a much more cinematic 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. So if you like that effect, make sure you hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe. But before I jump into this tutorial to show you how exactly to do that, why don't you check out this little sequence I created to really show off the effect better. Oh, and spoiler alert. It is a scene recreation from one of the recent episodes, but out of context, it really gives nothing away. So I don't think you have anything to worry about if you haven't seen the episode yet. Check it out. Who are you? What do you mean? Who are you? Uh, Alex, I I'm just your brother. Then why don't you know who Kristen is? No, you're not my brother. And you definitely don't know me. You are a stranger and an outsider. And right now, you are trespassing here. And I want you to leave. <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm not an actor, so uh, you know, excuse my terrible acting, but why don't we jump right into the tutorial? All right, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your sequence set up and some footage in the composition ready to go. It doesn't matter what dimensions your video is in, just make sure it's something like the normal 16 to nine aspect ratio because the effect will be much more noticeable. Then we're gonna go ahead and right click on our footage bin, click new item, and then click color mat. Hit okay, set it to black, hit okay, name it something like black bar, and then hit okay. And then we're gonna drag this into our composition. This will be the first of four black bars that we'll be adding onto our footage. So we're gonna start with the sidebars replicating the older, more square aspect ratio of four to three. So let's start by making sure our black bar layer is selected, then go on up to the motion section and start dragging the first number to the left. This will move the whole black mat we just created over. Adjust it until you're happy with the look. If you're like me and you want it to be the true actual four to three aspect ratio, you can create a guide in Photoshop and line it all up perfectly. But to do this, you can just create a document with the same dimensions as your sequence, then click the marquee tool, choose a fixed ratio style and type in four and three. Then drag a box from top to bottom and drag it over until it is exactly in the middle. Then hit Control or Command I to invert, then choose a bright color like red and fill in the selection. This should create a red frame in the four to three aspect ratio. Save this as a PNG with the background layer turned off so you can overlay it on top of the footage. Repeat these steps for the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio to use as a guide for the widescreen part of this effect. Then to use them as a guide, you just import them into your project and place them between your footage and the black mat. Then adjust the first black mat until it lines up with the edge of the red mat. Then you can add a second black mat in on top of your footage. Go back up to the motion section and adjust the first number, this time dragging it to the right. Do this until you're happy or until it lines up with the guide if you're using one. Okay, so now we have our black bars for the four to three aspect ratio. Now we want to repeat these steps, this time creating bars for the 2.35 to one cinematic aspect ratio. So go ahead and add a third black mat in, then go back up to the motion position section and drag that number up until it is completely out of frame. Just make sure you stop as soon as it is just out of frame, not significantly past it. If you go too far, it will affect the animation and won't look as good. Finally, add the fourth black mat and drag it down until it's just out of view. All right, now we're ready to start animating. So find the point in which you want the animation to start and then click the little stopwatch beside position on all four of the black mat layers. This will create a keyframe, which will be the start of your animation. Then go forward about 10 seconds or so, or however long you want the effect to last for, and click the little circle between the two arrows on all four black mat layers. 
This will add your ending keyframe or where the animation will stop. So let's start with the left and right bars first. So we already have the position at the beginning since it's starting with the sidebars in. So go to your second or final keyframe and adjust the position of each sidebar until they are just out of frame. So slide the left one farther left and the right one farther right. Just make sure you stop as soon as they are just out of frame. Then if you drag the playhead from the beginning to the end, you'll notice how they slide out of view. So half the animation is now done. So let's jump into animating the top and bottom bars. So for these bars, they will be starting just out of view, just like we have them, and then sliding in. So once again, go to your second or last keyframe, and then start dragging the second number up or down until each of the two bars are farther down the screen, creating the widescreen cinematic look. Once again, if you're using the guide we created, make sure that layer is between your footage and the black mats, then adjust the black mats until they line up with the edge of the guide. And don't forget to turn off the guide layers so you don't do them. Now, if we grab the playhead and drag it from beginning to end, you'll see both sets of bars moving or animating, with the sidebars moving out of view and the top and bottom bars moving into place. And there you have it. You just recreated the aspect ratio change effect that is in the ever so popular WandaVision TV show. I hope you get creative with this effect. I would love to see what you guys do and create with this. So make sure if you make something and you post it online, share it with me at Alex S. Perry on Twitter or on Instagram. Also, don't forget to drop me a like and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this tutorial. There were some other cool effects I did in my cinematic sequence here for the scene recreation I did of the WandaVision episode. So if you want to see how to do those, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because I will be dropping a tutorial on how to do a couple more effects from that sequence. On top of that, there's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're going to want to make sure you stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alex Perry, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.